Good morning, beautiful people on the internet. Good morning, beautiful people on the internet. Hope you're having a good day. But I think it's about time that Verstappen makes a decision in his life. Williams, they've made a decision, a pretty big decision of getting Colapinto in for Sergeant. The Haas, they've also made a pretty big decision of signing a terrorist in Esteban Ocon. Yep, it's definitely over for Haas. But now it's Verstappen's turn. And will he get the decision correct or... Oh, will it be awful? Like and subscribe, go do that because that's the only thing that keeps me sane. And if you don't, that makes me extremely sad. So go do that and whilst you're down there, comment something because it's cool, right? I don't know, your opinions are cool, they're valid. Each and every single one, each and every single one of them. So go do that. Will Verstappen fumble? Hmm. Now Verstappen seems like he hasn't won a race in... Nope, 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 nope. 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 Here he is, Max Verstappen, out of the final corner for the final time. He's been pushed all the way, but Max Verstappen wins once again in Formula One. Forever. It's been decades. It's been years. It's been months. And that Red Bull has slowly been tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. Like, it was, yeah, cool. Is it actually the fastest car? Is it the second fastest car? Hmm? Question marks. Is McLaren catching to now... Is it actually the fourth fastest car of all cars? And if that's how bad it's tumbled from it being the dominant force that it was in Bahrain when Verstappen won with a 22 second lead to now it being absolutely awful, then what's gonna happen next year? Regulations aren't changing. They don't have Adrian Newey and it seems to be awful. Next year, 2026, new regulations, will they get it right? I'm not sure because so far they've, all of their eggs of their basket have been in the basket of Adrian Newey and the power unit, and when the power unit was good, they've won championships. But when it wasn't, it was more of a struggle, but the cars were still fantastic. But now... We're in Baku, and apparently according to them, according to Red Bull, according to Verstappen, he says the, the, the team needs to start seat belting themselves and strapping themselves in because we actually need to win this championship. Red Bull have said that, hmm, I think we might drop this car, see if we can win and focus on next year. Because with Adrian Newey not there, we're going to have to focus on next year. Baku, they kind of hit the floor running in practice. Their car, they've been struggling with medium speed corners, you know, like those Silverstone long hairpins, the Monza Parabolicas, the you know, the Lesmos and stuff like that and blah blah blah. But the thing is, there isn't many medium speedish corners in Baku, so they were expecting good results. And to be fair, they hit the ground running in practice. Pretty decent, but practice two, practice three, seems like other teams have just been slowly catching up and they've been tumbling and tumbling. Now, that is just practice. Qualifying is is soon to come. And I haven't watched it yet because it's in an hour, 30 minutes, and there'll probably be a voiceover of me saying that, oh my god, either Red Bull are cooking, Red Bull are back, or no, Verstappen actually has to make a change. Wait, no, a decision, yeah. Not only was qualifying shambolic, um, Perez somehow managed to do something for the first time in his career this season, the race was also quite shambolic. Lando Norris, who started 15th, overtook Verstappen, who started fifth and that is a statement that is like um red bull hello moment forehead like what and with that segue of verstappen making a change yeah it's, it's about time he makes either a change or a decision because in my eyes he has three options in his career no four options make it four in his career in where which he can go. The first, he can obviously stay with Red Bull, see what's popping, see if it's gonna get better or not. With Mercedes, we saw them tumble down in 2022, but we kind of started in 2021 with issues in testing, and then it was a bit mm -mm -mm. It was still an amazing car, don't get me wrong, but 2022, it was awful. 2023, it was awful. 2024, it was awful, until it wasn't. It took them a couple years, and if Verstappen wants to go through a couple years of pain, then sure be it. Wait, no. Yeah, stick with the Red Bull. Is that going to happen? If Red Bull starts tumbling even more, I don't see him sticking around, because he only wants to win, and if he's not winning, then he's getting bored. 
Uh, yeah, that's just how he works. I'm not sure whether we're going to see him in another team. So if that doesn't happen, retirement might be the next option for him. At Max Verstappen. Senior living. He says he, he's, he's gone past the two, the, the halfway point in his Formula One career. He wants to venture into different things. And that's cool. That's cool. Kimi Raikkonen, he won a championship and fucked off to rally. That was amazing. Kibitza, he did rally and, well, it didn't pan out too well for him. And that made me deeply sad. So Verstappen, watch out. But maybe he loses this championship. Maybe he has a vendetta on Norris if he somehow manages to win, which I don't see it happening because McLaren are McLaren and Lando Norris is Lando Norris. And he will come over the line to try and improve. He's on for a personal best. No, oh, he's boxed. He's boxed. He's coming into the pits. Lando Norris is in the drop zone. The checkered flag is out and the driver second in the world championship will fall at the first hurdle. And Piastri, Piastri gives off um, serial killer vibes. Lovely job, Oscar. Great afternoon. Fantastic. Yes. Mercedes Verstappen loses and Red Bull aren't performing next year. He gives them one more year, maybe 2026. Maybe it might be time for a change. And that's where his options come in, in my humble opinion. Red Bull, if they don't perform, I think he's going to leave. Retirement, maybe not. Options. 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 Now I'm going to start off by saying that he is, he has two options. I don't think he's going to go over to Ferrari. Why is that? Because they have, they have the golden boy of Formula One, Charles Leclerc. Do you think he's going to go to a different team? No, I think he's going to be born and bred in that team, just like Schumacher, but not really. But you know what I mean, right? They have Lewis Hamilton. I don't think they're going to want to get away. Lewis Hamilton just joined that team. Hello? Is he going to go? No, no, no. So that leaves us with the other two big dogs. Or not really big dogs. Oh, also, McLaren. He's not going to go over to McLaren, is he? Let's be real. Piastri's there. And Norris is there. And unless they both decide to, to leave because the team can't operate. But I think they're getting to grips with that. Then, mm, yeah, that's not happening. But one of the teams that I think he might be able to consider is Mercedes. They've been struggling, but they somehow seem back. Do you remember Baku, 2022, where Hamilton pretty much broke his back? The, it's seeming a lot better. They've won multiple races this season. It's not like it, it's it's lucky or it's a track or they've just gotten, you know, like, like Brazil in 2022. Cool, you won a race, but then the race after that, you were ass. Now, they are just consistently at the top of the field where they probably should be. And with Hamilton leaving and Kimi Antonelli joining and Russell being Russell and you never know what he's going to do. He might win a race, he might crash out or Kimi Antonelli, he's a rookie, right? Uh, no one knows what he's going to do. Verstappen, when he joined the Red Bull organization in Formula 1, he had Toro Rosso. We didn't go straight to the Red Bull. No, no, no. And that's why ever since the contract has been announced with Kimi Antonelli, there's been speculations of, huh, maybe... Maybe it's going to be a 1v1, a straight 1v1 between Russell and Antonelli. Can Russell prove himself of being the lead primary driver? Or will he crumble? Can Antonelli prove himself of being the next Max Verstappen? And there's been speculations, a lot of speculations. And honestly, I buy into them. It's going to be a 1v1 between them two. And whoever comes out victorious will retain their seat if Verstappen wants to go to that Mercedes team if they keep on improving. Because who wouldn't want to have a Mercedes? We know. Who wouldn't want to drive for Mercedes? Duh. But that is if Red Bull kaput into the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Toto Wolff has obviously been declining these things, saying, no, we are set th with this lineup for the future. Now, yes, cool, you might be set with this for the future. It was like Hamilton uh, and Bottas, and then one of the drivers got replaced and Russell came in was the young buck and Hamilton showed him the way same thing happening now Russell being the the older buck and showing the young buck and Kimi Antonelli the way they had that lineup for three years that is a pretty long time and maybe they want to do the same thing maybe Dota Wolf isn't talking out of his ass and maybe he's spinning facts he wants this to to work out for the future but if Verstappen actually wants to leave that team then who wouldn't want to have him right who wouldn't? And it might be a straight up 1v1. And whoever can do better. 
It's not even just who can do better. Say Russell scores 15 more points than Kimini Antonelli, gets a race win or two more than him. He's uh, He's been in the sport for many, many years, and it's Kimini Antonelli's first season. Personally, in that scenario, in that small little scenario, I'd give it to Kimini Antonelli. But that's not my decision to make. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's an option for Verstappen. And George Russell and Kimi Antonelli might be under a slight bit of pressure. Even though Toto Wolf saying that their seats are guaranteed for a while. Hmm, maybe not. And last but not least, I think a good option for him is a team that last year I thought were Pogo. This year I thought they were clowns until a young Jeremy Clarkson said that Adrian knew we were shopping for houses in Oxfordshire, and he predicted the entire future. And let's be real, Aston Martin is going to be a force to be reckoned with. The The project has to be credible, it has to be insane, for them not, not only to have one of the greatest drivers of all time in their team, Hi, I'm Lance Stroll. but now the greatest car designer, period, in their team. Alonso's there. Lawrence Stroll. He is leading that team to greatness, and he's the only guy who just single-handedly owns the team. That is his team. He decides what he wants to do. McLaren, they have to go through layers and layers, and they're not that cool. Whereas one guy own a, owning a Formula 1 team, just like Williams back in the day, Frank Williams, just like, I don't know, Braun, just like Jordan. Like, that was sick, right? But now it's just layers and layers of, of, of weird shit that's going on, and... That credible project has not only got Aston Martin, wait no, not only has Adrian Newey, Alonso, and maybe it might be time for somebody else with a name of Verstappen to join if that Red Bull team kaputs next year and the year after that. As I said, the project has to be credible. It has to be credible for Adrian Newey to be signing a three-year contract or something like that, probably. Alonso said he wants to race way, way, way beyond 2026 and even further beyond that which I buy into because he's not leaving that sport if Edge knew he's there and the team's going to be great. And who's going to say that Verstappen doesn't want to join? That leaves us with the question. Will he replace Alonso or Stroll? <laughs> like, on paper, it should be like, yeah, Stroll, you're out here. Stroll goes to WBC, everyone's happy. They have two championship-winning drivers, and it's a free win, right? I think Stroll would happily give that seat up. I'm sorry, his father would be like, sorry, you ain't performing, we need Verstappen, and then we win. GG. But that's the thing, I think if, if Verstappen doesn't go to either Mercedes, or Aston Martin, or Red Bull don't fix up, or he doesn't retire, then he's going to be stuck there in that team, in that Red Bull team, just crying and moaning and crying and moaning, until he can't deal with it anymore, and he just ends up retiring, or going to another team, or Red Bull get good, which I don't see happening. <laughs> Welcome back to what I like to call delusional discussions, where the delusional human discusses my thoughts. What is actually going to happen with the big V, with the Verstappeniness of the Verstappen? Um, now, I, I don't think Red Bull are gonna are gonna be all that. I think I'm gonna, I think they're gonna fail terribly, terribly, terribly. I think they're gonna be they're gonna go back to their 06 days and be that bad. I think. Their reign is over. I think it's it's done. It's gone. It's gone. I don't think Verstappen will yet to retire. And I don't think that... Well, it's between Aston and Mercedes, in, in my humble opinion. And I think that Mercedes might be set with their two drivers. And I think that Aston Martin are looking for someone to replace Stroll. Stroll can go to WEC. He's had his time in Formula 1. He will understand and his father will pat him on the back and say, Yes, I'm sorry. This has to happen. That's my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let me know down in the comments and watch it there. Subscribe and like and comment something down below because that makes me happy. Blah, blah, blah. Have a safe and nice rusty day. Don't die because the, you can't watch other videos. Anyway, goodbye, peace. That's all, folks.